Gentlemen, how's it going? It is Des Booth, and today we are back with a new weapon guide. Before we hop into it, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. The weapon we are using is the Luda, specifically a Vicious Luda, level 60, not level 65, and so your stats will vary. The damage on this bad boy is 12,500, accuracy is 86%, handling is 38%, reload time is 1.6s, fire rate is 7.25s, magazine size is 12. It is Mayhem level 10, with a bonus to the crit hit damage, a 33% bonus to the weapon damage, less weapon accuracy, higher weapon fire rate, and a 3.7 weapon zoom. And the action skill on this one is on action skill end, the next two magazines will have 100% additional bonus cryo damage, and it is a Vladoff weapon. The sniper can draw from any suitable loot source, but it doesn't have a higher chance from dropping from Tremendous Rex. The Luda can also be attained by completing all of Zero's Target of Opportunity mission. The weapon does come in Cryo, Incendiary, Shock, Radiation, Corrosive, or none at all. And when you fire the weapon, it does spawn two additional projectiles, one on either side of the main projectile, and after a certain distance, these additional projectiles will fan out from the main projectile, meaning they'll spread out basically. And then due to the way the additional projectiles spawn and travel, the Luda is best used at medium range or against large targets, where all the projectiles have the best chance of striking the target. It does have a rotating barrel, high fire rate, and multiple bullets per round. The Luda functions more as like a minigun, than a traditional Jacob sniper, which I have to say is the best manufacturer for snipers. And there was a hotfix actually last year on October 17th, where the critical hit damage was reduced by 30%. And so that does obviously nerf the gun, but you do have the three projectiles to work with, so it shouldn't be too much of a pain. The Luda is a returning weapon from Borderlands 2. The Luda is a nickname for the Ludmilla, a reference to the Russian woman Ludmilla Pavlichenko the most successful female sniper in history. Pretty badass. The red text is also Man Killer. And again, going from the name, especially in Wars, where it's traditionally male, that's where that does come into play. The weapon itself is okay. I didn't really use this weapon prior to making this video. I think that the Santok is definitely better in regards to having the extra projectiles and them fanning out. Again, I personally don't really like sniper rifles in Borderlands 3, and then having Vlados sniper rifles, I find they do less damage, but you can fire them faster, which I guess is a good replacement, but not really what I want for sniper rifles. It'd be better as a semi-automatic assault rifle. However, this is sort of like a, a mini gun, so it can be thought of in that effect. However, just having it be the base of a sniper, I can't really get over it. And then when you go to farm Tremendous Rex, you do have to do the Cistern of Slaughter on Promethea, a handful of waves of just bad guys. It's nothing really too hard to deal with. And it can actually be fun if you're just trying to show off a weapon or just to test something out. And then if you do happen to go down or die or you just want to keep constantly farming it, there is a ammo station back up before the wave start. And if you ever played Borderlands 2, you definitely played like a circle of slaughter type uh, mission before, where it's just ways on ways of enemies. And in regards to the boss, the Tremendous Rex, it is a flesh type enemy on normal mode, meaning red health, but it is a armored enemy, so yellow health, on true Vault Hunter mode and Mayhem mode. I wouldn't recommend you go and, I wouldn't recommend you do this particular mission, this particular farming for the Luda, unless you specifically want to try for the weapon. I do believe I got it dropped, but it was I, I think I got it from just a regular mob rather than the actual boss itself. And because you can find the gun just about anywhere else, you're better off just playing through the game, hunting for something else, and then stumbling across it that way. The boss is not super hard because of how big it is. It can't move around all too much. It can be a little bit powerful and it can knock you off. So it's best to shoot it from far away, maybe perhaps with the Luda. Anyways guys, that is everything for the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's something else you want me to cover and stay tuned for next time.